Done. Done. Sky, I'm very excited to say that. It's done. I went with the satin all year thing. Looks awesome. I love it. Got it. I'll keep reaching for it. <laughs> what are you doing? Chill! Welcome back, Talking Serpents. So today, I'm actually going to be. I've got a brainstorming a bit. I want to put a desk from uh, this corner of the wall to this part of the windowsill, make it symmetrical so it comes about right here. Yeah, close enough. A little visual representation. And I've kind of been taking some measurements. So I think I'm going to make it look a little more like this. Rounded edges, rounded inside edge, and then a little cabinet on top. And inside the cabinet I'm going to have I'm gonna color match it to this stain using this wood so everything matches and all the stain looks good. And then uh, inside of that cabinet, that should be about right here on my left side because if I have this chair or a different computer chair, I don't know. I like using this little stool, it swivels, it goes up and down and then I can play my guitars and eventually I'm gonna hang on my guitars on the wall around it. So it'll be... Uh, Nice enough and out of the way. But inside the, the cabinet, I can have all my power strips for the computer because obviously snakes like to, right now, all my guitar stuff, the power strips right there. And if I have my computer in here, the snakes are gonna wanna get around the electrical. And I don't want that, I don't think it's safe for them and I don't wanna be worrying about it. So like inside of here, I have power strips coming inside and it hides it and they can't get in it. And I was actually thinking, See if like right here is the tape or the, the tabletop and then underneath I could maybe have one of the heat uh, bulbs and guards on like the back corner or whatever. And then underneath I could put like somewhat of like a snake bed. I don't know what we're gonna call it, but it's highly possible that the boa and indefinitely slip not my reticulated python would probably go underneath where my feet's at if I'm like gonna be this mainly I'm gonna be making this so I can come in here and uh, edit my YouTube videos in here because if you've seen where my other uh, <clears throat> table is at I don't have a computer table right now and I'm actually using a nightstand so I'll show you that in a minute it's actually kind of funny it's time for me to build a table. I can't seem to find a table that's going to be perfect for this and I want it to color match stain anyways. I'm super picky. And then uh, I'll be able to have some of my guitar equipment up there so that I can easily have that accessible so I can sit there and play my guitars and hang out and open up a specific enclosure so the snake can come out and get some freedom and stretch out and be a snake. For me, it's the next day. It's in the morning, and it's a cold morning. It is uh, 27 degrees out right now with a little wind chill outside, so we're gonna cut in the garage. <sighs> Yay for a closed garage. So we're gonna cut up. Last night, we ran out and got uh, two four by eights. Yeah, let's get going.
So this 41 inch by 41 inch piece of wood will be my L-shaped tabletop. It will have rounded corners, so right now I need to lay it all out. Okay, so I got my board all laid out. So we're gonna be using this on the wall and this on the wall and this will be not used. So I decided to use just random things around the garage to, for a radius. Decided to go with this. It's a car wax can, which is nice. And then the air horn one for this smaller radius. We decided we're gonna go with the larger radius because I'm gonna get pretty close to the table saw and then uh, just cut it out with a jigsaw and I'm gonna sand it and make sure it's all smooth. So, we cut to about right here. We had to flip it over and mark the uh, back side. So if you see in there, I don't know if it'll focus. But since the blade is round, now we'll focus over there. There it is. So it's actually, you'll see the tip of the blade, but it's actually cutting a lot farther than you think in. So we didn't go all the way as far as you know the corner, of course. And I'll cut the excess out with the, uh, the jigsaw. I do not like how that went. And I know a little problem. Let's focus. There we go. So this looks good. I can clean that up to make it real nice. But. This is slightly, can't see the pencil line. But I need to cut off a little more on this edge to make this a little smoother. For some reason I need to cut off an extra 16 just from here to here and then it should be perfect. And just like that, a nice radius. Although I'm gonna clean it up more. But for now, looks good. Single-handed now. Stephanie went to work, so. One down, one to go. So it's starting to come together a little more. It's got my rolling stands underneath it to support it because I needed the exact height and I don't want to struggle with it. And uh, I'm gonna have the front lip recessed about a one inch back because I don't want to be hitting the side or whatever. I'm gonna round out this corner. And I clamp the other piece of half inch wood right here because I'm actually gonna recess this in half inch and just using this, clamped it for now, just for a little depth gauge. So this is what I got so far. I was gonna attach it to the wall that's gonna be surrounding, but I decided, said I made this triangulated pieces and it's nice and strong. So now I have uh, some wood over there, the little two pieces, I'm gonna cut them down to size and they're going to be my supports that go from right to left. And then I might add some triangulated gussets in there. I'm not sure, but yeah, let's go ahead and chop it up.
are called pocket holes. If you've seen my other videos, you can definitely see that I do like these sometimes. This will allow me to go from a flat piece of wood to a flat piece of wood, like a, called a butt joint. And then that way on the back side you won't see any holes. But the screws that bond the two pieces of wood together, super strong. So, yeah, that'll be going from that corner piece. We pocket holes and then all the screws going from this side. All right, fast forward into the future. Here we are. So I got these back pieces on. Everything's pretty strong. And then uh, I'm going to be building a cabinet on the left side since there's going to be a window on my right side. So I'm gonna do an 18 wide, 10 deep, and then I'm gonna go, well, I think 18 inches tall. I'm gonna go up to miniature my walls because my guitars are also gonna be going on the walls as well. And then I brought my monitor out here to figure out exactly if this is gonna be too big or too small. Seems it's gonna be good. And then the keyboard and all that other junk. comfortable on a table saw. I've used it many times, but I don't know if I'll ever be comfortable on it. I just gotta get too close to that freaking blade when I'm over here. Well, it looks like this is as much as I can build with the cabinet. Here's the cabinet structure. Got the top, bottom, right, left side. Uh, it's obviously not attached yet. I'm gonna keep it detached and then later on I'll attach it. But uh, my wife's gone, she's at work, and I got that four by eight right there. I just need to cut a little piece out of it, and then I could make the back, and then this is for the trim that's gonna go around the edges, and then I gotta make a nice cabinet door. So I guess that'll have to be done tomorrow or another day. Well, I guess I could sand it. I'm gonna round out all these corners, make sure it's all safe for my hand, safe for the snakes. Let's make it dusty. Get to it. Well, one hour of sanding later, and here we are. Oh, take off this respirator so I can speak. We got all the corners rounded, all the edges rounded, everything is really smooth. I can definitely assure that I'm not gonna get any splinters, which means that my snakeys aren't gonna get splinters. Looks good. But uh, the more I see it um, on the inside here, it's just like 10 inches down. Um, I was gonna have nothing under here, but I have a little bit of wood over there. A little square. And I was gonna do a triangulated piece that goes from right here to right here. And then I have like a mini subwoofer and some other things it would just have like just random storage and be out of the way if I was like sitting here. And that'd be, I'd have a shelf over here, triangulated shelf here, and I might as well mirror it and put the other triangulated shelf on the opposite side and then I get staining, but since it's a little cold around here, uh, you can't stain in real cold weather or it won't uh, adhere really well. So I'm, mm, I might have to wait a couple days for it to warm up. In Texas, the weather goes, it's like the stock market up and down, up and down. So, uh, it might be a couple days. I know it's gonna be uh, warm enough because I know that uh, the track is, the motocross track's gonna open in a few days because it's been so cold they denied us, but now I know I can go ride. So, now we play the waiting game. So I decided to cut a couple angle shelves and I got an angle that's gonna go across here. My attachment doesn't come out enough, so I'm gonna have to freehand this. So, wish me luck. Pretty impressed with myself. There. 
Not too bad. We got a palm sander over there. I'll just freaking sand it flat. Even though it's really close. Yay me. Well, this is what I got so far. Definitely calling it a quits until tomorrow when I can finish that box. But I got these all sanded. I got them installed nice and strong. Pa pow, pa pow. That's how you know they're good. Not that I pound on it, but I do a little pa pow, pa pow. Okay? Yeah. So, yeah, these are out of the way. So, we got lots of leg room. And then I have a desktop right now. And uh, I, I built this to go on just the back half of the computer. So that way, all the electrical that's on the back half of the computer won't be exposed if the snakes are back here, because you know they're going to be. Anybody has snakes, you know what I'm talking about. They're gonna be in there, so I might just have a little notch where all the electrical comes out, and it's gonna feed through at the top into the cabinet that's going to be right there. All right, I got my wife back. She's all bundled up in a cold garage. We need to cut the four by eight. We just need to, two pieces of 18 inches in it for the itty bitty cabinet, so. First, we gotta get the shelves in, so I gotta get my thinking hat, figure out how many shelves I want. All right, once again, fast forward in the future. I decided to go with one shelf, put it in the center. I got my hole, all the electrical is gonna be coming in. I decided I'm gonna mount the power strip on the wall, that way I can kind of bring it in. I have a bunch of plug-in spots. Um, what else? I got my mold. All the molding, trim moldings around. I just finished sanding it, so it's all smooth. So the next step is to measure it and make that piece right there into a door. All right, made myself a door. Got the hinges on there, self-closing hinges. Bam, just like that. Now, in three, two, one. Got the trim on there, got the door handle, and that's it. It's finished. I mean, the woodworking's finished. Wah, wah, wah. Now I need to stain it, which it's a little too cold today. I think it might be a little warmer tomorrow. All right, today is stain day. It's finally warm enough. Right now it's 60 degrees, which is the minimal. And then from here on out, it's gonna get all the way up to 72. So I am in the go. It is ready for stain. And just like that, stain is on. Just need to put my uh, top coat on. Put some uh, two coats of polyurethane. I got it upside down, inside, outside, upside down, everywhere. It's all covered. This is the same stain I have in my reptile room right now, which is American Walnut. I happen to really like that stain, if you can't tell. It's like a medium brown. This is the door, and this is a little mini cabinet. So we'll let it dry, and I will uh, put the top coat on. Need uh, two coats of polyurethane to make sure it's uh, nice and sealed, because I will be using it quite often. Oh man, I gotta get out of here. It is fuming. This, the stain is uh, very strong. I have had a respirator on for the past like two hours uh, to stain everything and I can't really smell much. And then now that I have the uh, respirator off, it is very strong in here. I gotta get out. All right, done, done. I'm very excited to say that it's done. I went with the satin polyurethane. I went with two coats. Looks awesome. I love it. There's the door. 
in the cabinet. So I got to let it cure for a minimal of, uh, I think two days. So I'll probably just leave it here for a couple days, if not longer before I put it in the reptile room. Well, that's it. That's all I can do until everything cures. So if you like the video, strike the like button. If you have any comment, put it in the comment section below. Um, if you enjoyed the content, please do subscribe. It definitely does help and, uh, have a nice day.